Remember I showed you the, act, the point slope form? It's right up there, right? That's usually the preferred method to solve for it. However, I kind of got a lot of head nods when I said, if you can figure out what the slope is and the y-intercept, you can write the equation of the line, right? Everybody felt pretty confident like that. So now i given the slope, but now I'm not given the y-intercept. But is there a way to solve for it? Well, let's think about it. Remember, we have y equals mx plus b. We know what our slope is, right? Negative 9 over 5 times x plus b. We need to just figure out what our y-intercept is. Well, what's the, you know, if they gave us y-intercept, we would just plug it in. We'd be done, right? But they don't give us the y-intercept. What they do is they give us the point. Well, remember, every point on a line has a x and a y-coordinate. So what I can do to find my value of b, I can plug these in for x and y. So negative 2 equals negative 9 fifths times 5 plus b. Now remember, practice multiplying your fractions. Those are going to divide to 1. So you have negative 2 equals negative 9 plus b. S solve for b. And now what you get is positive 7 equals b. So now I know my slope, which is negative 9 over 5. I know my b, which is 7. Go back to that first video I showed you. When I tell you what the slope is and what the y-intercept, can you write the equation of the line? Yeah. Yes. Y equals negative 9 over 5x plus 7. Woo! But if and you got the same one, right? Yes.